Hello. So I'm solving the 2022 IIT Jam Mathematics paper. This is question number 13. So let U, which belongs to this real space, be a twice continuously differentiable function such that U0 is greater than 0 and first derivative of U0 is also greater than 0. Suppose U satisfies this function and uh, this uh, double derivative of ux is ux by 1 plus x square. So here we have given the two statements, two functions. The first one is the function is monotically increasing on this particular semi-closed interval and function u is also monotonically increasing on this particular function. I have to check whether these statements are correct or false. So let us start with the first statement that is the function u of u, u and u prime whether this is monotonically increasing or not. So to, to check this whether it is monotonically increasing this particular interval we have to find the derivative of this function should be greater than 0. So, so d u of u prime so we have to check this whether it is greater than 0 or less than 0 we have to check this. So if it is greater than 0, so we can say that it is monotonically increasing. So if we do this double, this uh, derivative of u u prime, so we will get this u prime plus u prime square. So u is defined as u prime is given as ux by 1 plus x square so we can write it as u square 1 plus x square plus u prime square now let us uh, check the condition that this u of 0 is greater than 0 so it is also a positive number right so this will be a positive number since u of 0 is greater than 0 so it is also greater than 0 and u prime you can see u prime is also greater than 0 u prime of 0 is greater than 0 so this, this is also a positive function so we can say that d dx of u u prime is greater than c. So this function automatically is monotonically increasing. So this is first statement is true. This is a monotonically increasing function. Now we should check with the second whether the function u is monotonically increasing. So from here on we can see that, so let us consider this. So ddx of u u prime, suppose it is some constant, it is, which is greater than 0. Now if we integrate both sides, so it will be u of u prime kx plus c, as c is the constant of integration. We can also write in this form u of x, u prime x, k of x plus c. Okay. Now put the value of x as 0. So from here you can u of 0, u prime 0 is 0 plus c. So here you can see that it is greater than 0. So it is a positive number. u prime 0 is also greater than 0. It is a positive number. So hence c will be greater than 0. Now put this. So hence c is from here this come to this equation. 
dx cube prime x k is positive. So c is greater than 0, k is also greater than 0, right? Hence, this the term this ux of u prime x will be greater than 0. So, it should be greater than 0. Now we can write it in this way u of x u prime x is greater than 0. So, here are two conditions in this case, one of the conditions I will write it. So, each of the individual function u of x is greater than 0, u prime of x is greater than 0 or this is the first one or u of x is less than 0, u prime x is less than 0. But here in our condition it is already given that both the both the function this u of 0 is greater than 0 and u prime of 0 is also greater than 0. So, here the condition 1 will also will only be. So, this is the only way that both are positive number. Okay. So, we can discard this one. Okay. So, from here you can see that u x is greater than 0 and u of prime this u of derivative is also greater than 0. So, which states that the function of u is also monotonically increasing. Okay. So, both the functions this can product the statements are true. So, in our case the correct option is b both 1 and 2 are true. So, this question number 14. So, it says that we have to find this value of this series within the limit n tends to infinity k to k equal to 2 to n n plus 1 square root minus n square root divided by k and n zero square. So, we can write it, rewrite this equation in this form. We can keep out this uh, n. So, put the first limit over. limit n tends to infinity to what n plus 1 minus 2 n. So, we can multiply both sides. So, the denominator will be numerator. This number. Plus, and after that, we can put the summation of n equal to sorry k equal to k equal to two to infinity k of ln square. So from here, we can write this as this uh, limit n tends to infinity 1 by root over n plus 1 plus of n ok and and write it the same as k equal to 2 to infinity 1 by k into ln whole square. So, if n tends to infinity so this will sorry this yes so this will tends to zip right so now we have to find whether this is a divergent series or a convergent so for this we have to this we will do the Cauchy's 
check with the Cauchy integral test. So this will go to zero as n tends to infinity. So we have to test with the Cauchy's test of convergence, integral test for convergence. So we do that is the Cauchy's integral test for convergence. Suppose I have this if as i is equal to change the so let's i equal to this k equal to two infinity one by k of ln k square. Okay. Have to do the integral so we can write it as this integral 2 to infinity 1 by k ln k square now do the integral from so it will be 1 by ln k square integral of dk by k 2 to n so there is, there is some it is from 2 to n ok so there is some mistake so this is n and this will be n from 0 to so from k equal to 2 to n from integral will be 2 to n so here is the same thing here will be n it will be also n So 2 to n minus integral 2 to n. So here we will now do the ln k square. So it will be minus of 2 ln will be minus 3 by k integral of the differentiation of ln k and it will be a simple ln k of dk okay so from here we can rewrite the equation in this manner so is it is as it is so from here you can write this ln uh, this is will be dk by k then may the square so this will be l of k inverse 1 plus of it will be plus plus minus or minus of plus of 2 integral 2 by n dk k of ln k square ok so this is we have taken this is the i so from here we can write that so here it is i it is 2 of i that is from here you can write the minus of i is equal to this now put the value of this inside this ln inverse minus of ln 2 inverse okay so as n tends to infinity, this 1 by ln, it will, this n tends to infinity, 
so it will move to 0 to go to tends to 0 so we have this minus of i so minus of i this minus minus cancelled out so this of minus so we have this i of ln2 inverse so it is a uh, converting to a finite value okay it's converting to a finite value since it is a uh, convergent to the finite value so here we can find this so this is this particularly series is convergent to some finite value and it is multiplied by this zero as n tends to infinity so the value of this particular it will be it will be zero the option d